Good morning. What was that? There's a willow cough. Uh, good morning. It's Tuesday, uh, November 8th, also known as Election Day here in the United States of America. Today, the people of this great nation decide who they want to be their next president. I don't know, uh, I don't know if that's such a good idea, but hey, I can't stop it. Nobody else can. The ball is rolling at a breakneck speed. Um, so yeah, whether you vote for a third party, which you should not do ever, unless they were on equal footing and had a chance of winning, because uh, really, it doesn't, it doesn't send a message. It really doesn't because they never get enough votes to send a message. Sorry. <coughs> I don't know what it is with the sneezes this morning and I'll probably cut some of out what I said this morning. Too controversial. I'm gonna sneeze again. Okay, I think that might be it for the sneezes. There might be one more left. No, oh, that sucks. Uh, but I gotta get in the car, get down to work, do a little bit of work. Yeah, there's a sneeze coming. Do a little bit of work and then come home and uh, see if I can figure out a way that we can watch some election coverage tonight. I imagine somebody's gonna be streaming it on YouTube, I think, maybe, or on the web somewhere. I have to figure it out because we don't have cable, we don't have an antenna, we don't have Dish or Direct TV or any of that stuff. It's got to be online somewhere, right? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, let's get on with it. See what happens with the day. This could be a great day or it could be a dismal day. It's kind of teeter tottering either way. You will never guess what I did. Or maybe you will. I forgot my vlogging camera at home. So that means until I get home, vlogging on the phone. Which isn't too bad. This phone's pretty good. I'm stuck in traffic. I'm leaving a little later than usual. So more traffic than usual. Oh well. That's the price I pay for being a sleepyhead. And to be fair, I was up until 1 o'clock editing a vlog which is uploaded to YouTube right now. I just need to do all the fiddly bits behind the scenes and then it'll go live in a little bit once I get to work. Got a super duper, a lot of traffic on this back road here. Uh, that can only mean one thing. There's never this amount of traffic along here. So that means one thing, the interstate uh, must be blocked off. Must be an accident or something. That'd be the only reason people would be diverted along here. So that's unfortunate. Hopefully everybody's okay. I hate to see stuff like that. And for this amount of cars to be coming along here, they must actually like have it closed off and be diverting people. Um, it sucks. Hopefully you got to where you were going safe today. All your loved ones too. Yeah, here we are coming up to the interstate. Yeah, looks like they got everybody coming off over here. Yeah, there's everybody coming off over there, and then they've got the entrance blocked right there. So they're diverting everybody. It's crazy. Oh wow, super backed up over that way. So, definitely something going on down there. I'll have to review that footage. I can't look. But, this is the, almost the end of my journey. I'm just going into town now. I am now driving the opposite direction. Retracing my route and going home. It is now, what time is it? 11 minutes after 1. So I was at work for a good few hours, got a lot done, and now I'm sick of it. So I'm heading home. Hopefully 
everything is hunky-dory as far as road conditions and traffic. Although I'm passing a guy that's going super slow, like ridiculously slow. They were talking on their phone. I'm talking to my camera and I can pay attention to the road and go faster than them. Pretty sweet deal. Uh, I picked up a nutritious, delicious lunch to eat on the way home. A couple of burgers and fries. Thumbs up for burgers and fries. Uh, but we're going to have a good dinner tonight. Uh, picking up some ingredients on the way home for shrimp tacos. We're going to do shrimp tacos and like a rice dish in the rice cooker. And I'll probably pick up some avocado, maybe some mango salsa. We'll see how that goes. But I'll need to make two stops. Uh, one stop for all the good fresh ingredients. And then the shrimp that we like to get uh, come from Safeway. So frozen from Safeway. They taste the best. They're the freshest or fresh tasting. They don't have that fishy taste. So I'm going to eat and drive now and not be distracted. It's looking kind of apocalyptic over there with all the dust devils. It's crazy. Why is that going on now in November? It's winter. I'm not supposed to be having that. Okay. I knew that guy was going to do that. Pull right out in front of me. There was no need for that. He saw me coming. Knew that I was going way faster than him. Still going the speed limit though. Now we're going way under the speed limit. I hate the way trucks drive through Arizona. I have now switched to the vlogging camera. Canon G7X. I need a Mark II. Or maybe a Sony. Maybe I'll switch to Sony, but that's a lot of money. I need to put away ingredients. I got some cabbage here, some tomatoes, some onions, some limes. Still got to go out and get the shrimp, but I got most of everything else. I'm going to throw this in the fridge and then get back outside with the puppies because the puppies are outside. Okay, let's sneak up on the puppy. There's a puppy right on the other side of the door. Bobby, I found you! Bobby, I found you! You all ready to go inside? Let's see. Willow, do you want to go in too? Okay, Willow's ready too. It's a little warm out today, puppies. Let's go inside. Yay! I'll let them cool off for a minute, then they can have their afternoon meal. I need to say it that way or else they understand what it is. Uh, got some good cereal. Imitation Captain Crunch. This is my favorite cereal brand. They have all kinds of different stuff. Some healthier than others, but it's my favorite brand. I'm gonna go sit down now. I'm tired today for some reason. So I'm gonna do, do the sit down thing. Maybe edit some video. We'll see how all that goes. Okay, I'm off to finish the shopping for dinner and to buy a picture frame. So I'm going off to Michael's. I think they have a good selection there. Ugh. Yeah, so I need shrimp, cilantro, and uh, corn tortillas. Hopefully some like artisan style, not just like the plain ones. And uh, as I said, a uh, frame. Frame, yeah. All right, why am I buying a picture frame? I'm buying a picture frame to put a photo of Willow in it uh, because tomorrow is Vanessa and mine. Uh, how do you say that? It's our anniversary. Uh, nine years, and we've been doing traditional uh, wedding presents. So there's certain things every year, like wood and cotton, and this year happens to be Willow and pottery. So I'm so, I mean, technically that's willow wood, but you can get creative with that. There are a lot of suggestions online, like Willow the Movie and other things. Uh, going to Willow, Alaska, things like that. So I thought I'd get creative. I didn't want to just get a hunk of wood. I didn't want to get like some pottery, like a mug or something like that. So I figured I'd get creative and willow is Vanessa's heart. Willow just 
Willow was everything to Vanessa, and I figured why not take a photo when Willow was a lot younger, because yesterday was the anniversary of the day that we found them, and they came into our lives. Uh, so I thought why not take a photo of when Willow was younger, print it up, get a nice frame, frame it, not a big photo, just like a four by six, and then Vanessa can take it to work and put it on her desk. I thought that was a great idea. Like not very expensive, something thoughtful, sort of bending the idea of Willow a little bit, uh, but I think it'll work. So I'm gonna go see if I can find a cool photo frame to put that in, and then head over to the grocery store. Lots to choose from, lots of frames. Some of them are even on sale. I'm looking for something a little decorative though, not just plain. And then like these are too decorative. That one's kind of neat though. That's a five by seven. I think I found it. It was hiding. It was in amongst all the other ones, but I think this is the one. There's a baby picture in there now, but it's got like sort of this pattern carved on it. So it's not just plain, not kind of like that. I think it'll look good with the photo. This is the one. It's not super expensive. Didn't leave, didn't pay. Rethought my choice. Got something smaller and metal. It's like a dark chrome, sort of a gun metal. I like it better. And it's smaller, so it'll fit on your desk better. I thought it out. Don't want a great big frame on your desk when you need room for paperwork. Totally forgot to vlog dinner, but it was good. Yeah, it was. We had the shrimp tacos. Vanessa cooked the shrimp with lime and tequila. I made the rice. It turned out awesome. I don't remember whether I mentioned what kind of rice I made. It's this thing I saw on Facebook where you do rice in a rice cooker, but you put a tomato in there and then some olive oil and some salt and pepper and then once it finishes cooking you just cook it regular but with the rest of the stuff in there and then you mix it all up when it's done excellent really good went well with the uh, shrimp tacos and, we, and I got some uh, pineapple habanero no pineapple poblano guacamole and it was delicious everything about dinner was delicious and we've been watching some Hulu, trying not to pay attention to the election results because right now it's pretty depressing. And I think a lot of people are really down right now, but a bunch of polls just closed. Hopefully things will turn around. If you're a Trump supporter... I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm... That's all I have to say. I was going to give you the finger, but I won't. So hopefully things turn around and uh, Trump supporters get sad. Well, I don't think they would get sad. They would just get all angry. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna continue watching some Hulu, watching Lucifer right now. Um, and then we'll see what's going on with the election in a little while. Okay, nothing else is gonna happen. We've just been sitting here sort of watching election stuff, looking at stuff on Facebook that, that people are saying on Twitter. And we've been watching Hulu. We've been watching this past weekend, Saturday Night Live, which is hilarious, but sad, sad considering what's going on right now. Uh, I am obviously not a Trump supporter. I'm not saying Hillary is the most perfect candidate in the world, but I would definitely want her as president over Trump. Uh, they're not calling it yet, but everybody's been thinking for quite a while that it's going to be Trump as president. Uh, I'm not happy about that, and if, even if you are a Trump supporter, you will eventually not be happy about it either. Just wait. Uh, so I'm going to sign out for now. We'll see what happens in the morning. I'll talk to you then. Until then, we're just going to eventually go to bed. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, peace, love. And hug a puppy. And hug a puppy. And uh, see. And I'll see you out on the trail. And remember, be awesome.